So let me know what we're here for. Um, we're here as undocumented youth um, to demand uh, Obama to give us um, administrative relief, which would do two things. It would stop the deportations of all Dream eligible youth, and two, would give us the work authorization to work in the meantime until we have federal Dream Act or um, immigration reform or some other kind of legislation that would fix our status. All right. Thank you. in in her lobby with a team of supporters. Um, five students total, one by one, went up to the receptionist, told them their name, told them they're undocumented, and said and asked for administrative relief. And they weren't going to leave until these cases were reviewed or until we got administrative relief. So after that, we took, we took a seat. Immediately, we were able to get in contact with Deborah working at She's the chief um, prosecutor. And and um, she agreed to meet with us within about 30 minutes or so. When she first came in and saw them sitting, she gave this bullshit about, you know, I won't meet with you until you take a, a proper seat, basically, which is ridiculous. But then, so she left. We didn't take no proper seat. That is our stance. We are going to hold space. We're going to have sit-ins until we, we see change, yeah. necessary change in this world. So, um, she finally had the meet. The meeting ended up happening right then and there in the lobby. They, we, we, uh, some of us just stood up so that they could sit down in the seats if that's what it took for her to talk to us. She wanted to talk to the, their uh, main lawyer, attorney, first. But um, we decided now she would have to hear our stories and that's always what tends to be missing with these people who are so disconnected with the reality of folks that they prosecute themselves. So one by one, each student shared their stories. It was very, very powerful, uh, very moving. And ICE officials were there, and the Aweibo, they had to, they had to listen. So that was, that was very great. Um, she still had a very scripted answer. After she claims to understand, she claims to understand the difficulties that folks go through because they get undocumented folks coming through here too, and she claims to understand that difficulty. I don't know what she understands from the prosecutor position. But um, she only said she couldn't do much with her power. She could send an email to the person that's above her. Emails are not going to cut it. Um, and that's where, when she says she understands, I don't think she understands the urgency. These are people's lives. People are not going to put up with any of this anymore. So today, today is a, a beginning, like every day is. And we hope that people watching in other cities also take a stance because we've, we've taken a, we've taken a stance here that doesn't end here we have not they have not met our demand yet our demand is administrative relief now so not until that demand is met Wonderful. We were able to hear them while we were at the eighth floor, and that was really inspiring to them. That was motivating to know that there are lots of people behind them, to the side, and with us. So we need to keep that up. Uh, more people will be in civil disobedience because that's what's necessary. And we're going to disobey unjust laws because these laws don't make any sense, and we'll continue. So we need you out here in the streets. We need you to sign the petition at endourpain.com. It's a petition with the White House for administrative relief. That's only one thing that you can do, but there's more you can do. Spread the word, um, spread knowledge, truth, fight ignorance within our families, within our communities. All of that's going to help. So thank you.